morning from Krabi. This is gonna be the last Thailand vlog, guys. I don't know how to feel about this. It's not the last travel vlog. We are heading somewhere else. You will probably know by now if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you definitely should. But the last vlog here in Thailand is gonna be two days in Krabi, two days in Phuket. So we have just arrived at Aonang Beach. And we arrived last night. I didn't start the vlog last night because we literally just settled in. We're staying in a hostel, which is actually a really nice hostel, to be fair. Thailand is still pretty quiet at the minute. But it does mean that the hostels are quiet, which sometimes is a bonus. Like, there's a good level of people where it's like social friendly, but it's not like absolutely crazy crazy busy like party wise because it is a party hostel that we're staying in so like their mantra is like it's going to be loud every night and we're like oh so we stayed there last night and today we're going to go and explore Krabi it's just Tom and I right now but we do have friends staying in the hostel with us which is really nice actually the same friends that we met on the True Travels tour but right now Tom and I are going to head to Rayleigh Beach because that is kind of what Krabi and Aonang is like most famous for I think. Rayleigh Beach looks absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to go and visit it. Currently we're just outside of a 7-Eleven. Alright, I'm outside. Tom's Tom's inside picking up some bits and bobs. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright We are having smoothies. I've gone for mango and passion fruit. You can't really see it, but it literally tastes like you've slushed up a mango and passion fruit j square which I guess makes sense but it has the exact same taste it's so nice this is probably my favorite smoothie I've had 70 baht which is about one pound 60 and it's massive to be fair definitely gonna miss the fresh fruit juice every day at home you just can't get this as easily in the UK like we don't live anywhere near somewhere that does good fresh smoothies like Tom on the other hand has gone for an Oreo one mm, nice and healthy nice and healthy nice he's nice also food. currently trying to sort out our Thai sim cards because obviously we leave fairly soon but we do still have to keep topping up our sim cards and we don't have like any data at the moment so we're just sorting that out now having a drink while we do so and then we're gonna continue down here there's this little walkway and then I think at the other side there's like another beach which I actually just saw when I was flying the drone you'll have seen it in those drone shots and then i also think there is a lagoon of some kind i've seen a few lagoons from Rayleigh beach on instagram but then when i try to find them on the map i can't find them and i see people's instagram photos and i'm like where have you taken that because i can't see it on the map anywhere thank you so much is that working now mm -hmm. perfect thank you really good job that i'm here with tom because i don't fully understand the phone sim card situation like drone footage here just looked so sick so hopefully you really like that the last couple of clips i feel like just for that alone it was worth bringing the drone i have had days where i'm carrying it around and it's obviously it's quite a lot of equipment i'm like this is heavy and i say i'm carrying it tom's been carrying it he's having an oreo milkshake so he's fine oh cheeky egg fried rice for lunch after we have been mountaineering that is the story i'll tell you after i've eaten this because right now i'm so hungry but i'm so glad that they've given me like a full fried egg i'm really excited about this so this is the hostel we are staying in guys like i say it is bodega hostel this is my bed this is tom's bed this is actually one of the first times we've had single beds sophie is behind me sophie hasn't been in the vlog for a while we didn't think we were going to see her again and then we ended up being in crabby and she was in crabby sean has this bed here what is my hair doing um, and then we have two new people that have literally just checked in that we haven't met but i know they're in here because their bags are in here but we we haven't met them this is what it looks like this is such a like classic hostel style room like it sort of looks a little bit like a prison cell but actually it is actually pretty nice there's a pool outside there's a lot of space there's big lockers for your big bags as well which is really really great because not all hostels have these a lot of hostels only have room, like, lockers for your little bags like your valuable bag so plus the bed was really comfy and the bedding was like <laughs> clean and it smelled nice yeah i don't hate it i'm actually quite enjoying it i've just got changed i've put on just my classic this is very easy to wear outfit look at my baby hairs this is ridiculous i think it's time for the hat to go back on We just had pizza for dinner. It was actually a really good pizza to be fair. It's and now nice. we're just gonna see if we can um, maybe pop into a few shops, although a lot of them are closing actually. I didn't realize how it, how it got to like 10, 15. No, it's like quarter past 10 now and it's just like- Where how? has the day gone? It's wild. Also earlier we ended up accidentally 
rock climbing on Rayleigh Beach. Uh -huh. Basically, we tried to get to the lagoon. So if you're ever on Rayleigh Beach, don't try to get to the lagoon. Just don't bother. It was such a vertical incline climb. There was like no real warning for it either. We were like, we knew we'd have to go up a few rocks, but we did not realize the extent that we'd have the rock climb with no harness, with just a rope. And it was like dangerous. And I was like, oh, we shouldn't like we should come down we decided about like halfway to just give up but then obviously you have to come back down so to lower yourself down all the time i was just using my arms and now my arms are <laughs> killing me because i was like holding my body weight which i can't do because i'm not strong enough i was looking forward to going to sleep to be fair it wouldn't have been that bad if we knew to wear like some decent footwear yeah, we were just in like sliders and it's not good it's not good it was the flip-flops for me that have now yeah. died their death i broke my flip-flops so i did it all barefoot guys Truly, it was a real, real experience. Ooh, I mean, bags. like, oh well, yeah, really, loads really of bags. bags. This is a big bag, son. That guy just shouted, subscribe, guys, you better subscribe. He said it, not me. After breakfast, we actually got a bus from Krabby to Phuket. It took around three hours, and as soon as we got there, we needed to do laundry. Like, we had no clean clothes at this point. It's a surfing town, woohoo. We have arrived in Phuket. This is actually our last destination on our Thailand trip. And I feel like it actually makes the most sense to end here for a few reasons. One, it has an international airport, which is always handy. And two, it kind of means we've done a full circle and we've actually visited all of the towns, islands, and cities that we had on like our Thailand bucket list. I'm not gonna lie, some of them we didn't know they were we're on our bucket list until we actually got to Thailand. But we are spending three nights, four days here in Phuket. We're actually gonna be splitting the time across like three different destinations. So we've come today to Kata Beach. This was kind of my influence because um, I really wanted to surf if possible before we left. Um, and the most famous beaches for surfing are here in Phuket because it is on the Indian Ocean. Not sure on the ocean. It's on a big ocean. It's not the Gulf of Thailand. It's the other side of the, the country. So luckily it means the waves are better. Um, and Kata Beach and Karon Beach, I think they're called, are like the two most famous surfer beaches in the country. Look at that. We actually just inquired at a surf school that we walked past, but the waves here are perfect for beginner surfing because they're not too big. Like obviously they can get really big, but at this time of year, they're quite small. So it's perfect. We have actually come here with Sophie and Sean as well, who we've literally spent the whole time traveling with just because our plans kept lining up. Um, this is actually our last destination where we're all going to be in a little group. I just thought I would vlog the little group that we're travelling with because currently it's not just the two of us but to be honest that's kind of like exactly how we wanted it to be like it was just it just timed so perfectly and like yeah. such a cool strip here on Kata Beach. There's so many different bars just all the way down. We've spent about an hour playing snooker and pool in there, which Tom is now getting really good at, surprisingly. I don't love these. I don't know why there's so many mannequins. We are hiring surfboards. I mean, the surf isn't great. There's like not that many waves, but we're just gonna do it anyway, just to vibe and uh, just to say we've surfed in Phuket as well because there are surfers out. It's just not super, super wavy. I guess that's a good thing. It was raining earlier, but we're gonna try to catch some small waves. Don't know why I'm saying that like it's a bad thing. We're not very experienced anyway. Also, I just got my nails redone, guys, because my other ones uh, had completely chipped off. I think it was because I'd been diving, to be honest. My nail varnish just like snapped and broke and chipped. So I've got this really glittery, I feel like we all look the part though. <laughs> You get camera shy. Guys, honestly, I was so excited to be surfing. I can't believe it's taken us six weeks. You can't surf anywhere else in Thailand. So I was loving this. Honestly, this is one of my favorite days of the whole trip. Yes. 
Hello from Patong. It has been a little bit of a while. Don't know why I said that so weird. Did I just forget how to talk? Um, but I haven't vlogged too much today because we spent most of the day down on the beach. I've caught the sun and my cheeks are super red. But we were down on the beach surfing for the majority of the afternoon. We actually had to wait. Like when we got there, there was just no waves. So we were like, shall we go get food and then come back and let's see if the waves pick up? Because obviously there's no point in paying to rent a board if there's literally no waves to surf on. But hopefully you did see some footage of me and Sophie both managing to catch a few waves. I had a really, really good time and actually it kind of made me feel a bit more confident because there weren't super, super strong waves. Like because the waves were kind of like, they were there and they were good when they were there, but there was quite long gaps between the waves. So it made me just feel like every time I saw a wave coming, I was gonna be able to do it. I actually really enjoyed it. If you are looking to surf in Phuket, I think Kata Beach is one of the best. However, we have now moved from Kata Beach to Patong. Last night we stayed in a hostel called Sinner Hostel on Kata beachfront pretty much and it was really nice actually as hostels go it was super quiet it was so different to the one in Krabi like Krabi was a party hostel last night it was just us four that were traveling together at the moment and then we met a Dutch girl and a German girl and we all were in one room and they were really lovely but it was just super laid back really really quiet tonight we have actually booked into a hotel in Patong because can you believe guys this hotel room cost 11 pounds. The hostel last night cost seven pounds. But we are in Patong, and if you know nothing about Phuket, Patong is one of the most famous areas for nightlife, for going out, for all the kind of Thai, I don't know how to word it. <laughs> All the Thai things that happen on a night out. There's a lot of strip clubs, I imagine. There's a lot of ping pong shows. There's a lot of, um, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on here. And we, we don't really want to spend too much time here, but we can't come to Phuket without visiting it. So we are going on a night out. That is why I'm a little bit more dressed up than normal, although my hair's still drying. Um, but we're staying in a hotel, literally not far from Bangla Road. Bangla Road is like the main strip where you would go out. Imagine like, I don't know, the strip in San Antonio in Ibiza or the main strip if you go on like a girl's holiday in Malia. There's always that like one road where there's like, all the bars, all the clubs. Bangla Road is that road. So we are pretty much staying on that road. Uh, and I don't know what we're gonna get up to tonight. I'll show you the view at the hotel balcony though. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty iconic. Oh, the music has started already. To our left, we have Phuket's Hard Rock Cafe. You guys know that Tom and I love a hard rock. This is the view straight ahead. We've still got the classic like Thailand mountains. There is actually a temple up there as well. I think it's being blocked by this at the moment, but I could see it earlier. This is, I think this is actually an Australian strip. So all the bars down here are Australia themed. This, one, this one's called the Aussie bar. This one's called a little town called Australia or something like that. It just continues like strip by strip, like well, street by street, I guess. Phuket has been spoken about so much since I've been here. I'll go back inside so you can hear me. It made sense for us to end here and also it meant we could do like one last night out with Sophie and Sean before we actually leave for the Philippines. But I am quite excited. What I was also going to add is that Phuket has been mentioned by so many people I've met as being one of the busiest areas. I think actually the nightlife here is probably going to be the busiest we've experienced. So I'm very excited. This vlogging clip was really freaking long. I'm very sorry. I just thought I'd do an update because I haven't chatted too much today but I'll show you the room real quick. I mean it's actually really nice. For £11 it's so so good. Tom is in the bathroom. He's actually having a bath because we have a bath in here, which is great. We also did laundry in Qatar. Why am I calling it Qatar? Kata. Kata Beach. We did laundry. So we've just been sorting that out. This is another reality of backpacking. Constantly washing your clothes, repacking them, putting them into a wash bag, having it washed. And then we've got quite a lot of space. Here's my backpack. Big old mirror. This is what I'm going out in tonight. Just shorts and <laughs> shorts in this classic Urban Outfitters top, which is a good going out top, I feel like. So this is my final going out look. We're rocking the very big bushy hair. And then I've just got on like hooped and the jewelry that I've been wearing the whole time. Although I did buy this necklace the other day actually from somewhere in Koh Tao. Um, it's like a opal pendant. I really, really like it, it's beautiful. So yeah, gonna go have some drinks um, and then we're gonna head out. We've got some pre beverageinos that we need to drink up because we can't take them on the plane with us to the Philippines. So we're gonna have some bevs. Okay, I'm gonna go into this in a little bit more depth afterwards. I'm gonna kind of do a Patong night out review, but honestly, it was wild. And immediately, as soon as we got there, I was not loving the experience. It did improve, but it was weird. We've somehow found a virtual reality arcade in the middle of Patong, in the middle of Bangla Road. I mean, it's sort of cool. It's just so, so weirdly placed and half closed down. You don't want to go back, so I'm right for your life. 
guys the hangover is surprisingly not too bad this morning and today is our last full day here in thailand honestly last night was such an experience i definitely think if you're coming to phuket you should experience it just once once was quite enough it actually made me feel kind of uncomfortable to be honest i didn't actually love it i hope you're walking down bangla road and everybody is just trying to grab you like so many people came up to me and like grabbed me by my arms and like tried to pull me into their like sex shows basically uh, and it was just a very odd experience like i've been out like clubbing so many times obviously in england but also i've been to like ibiza where i've been like oh my god this is like intense like san antonio is an intense night out it's nothing like that like i have never been anywhere where so many people are trying to get you to buy stuff and to like come into their strip club and like it was just a lot like and i think that there's a lot of moral questions like a lot of moral questions and the fact that you had to like show you had to check your temperature and wear a mask to go in whilst they're also asking if you want to come and watch a ping pong show or take your clothes off or have a photo with a naked woman and i'm like come and do all of this but make sure you've got a mask on like the the blurred line is really something i didn't love it i'm glad i've experienced it i'm glad that i've been i wouldn't go again if you're coming to thailand probably worth seeing just once today as i said our last full day here so we're heading to phuket old town i'm very very excited to see this i've heard nothing but good reviews to be honest so it is the afternoon it's actually nearly 2 p.m we spent this morning firstly sleeping and then secondly getting our fit to fly covid tests done which came back negative we actually didn't have to do a pcr which was great we could just do a antigen test as long as it was done by somebody else so we had to go to like a clinic to get somebody to do like a lateral flow on us and i was nervous i just i hate i hate it it makes me so anxious every single time just because of the what if but luckily we're all good so we're gonna head to phuket old town now welcome to phuket it's been what are you doing for you happy new year This is wild. This is what, no, they're not. Stop it. <gasps> Honestly, guys, this was such a wild find. We were just walking down the street and we saw a pub that looked a little bit Harry Potter ish. Opened the door and we're in basically Hogsmeade. It's clearly modeled itself on like the Orlando or maybe even the like London studio tour. And we walked in and we were like, what the hell? It was just so randomly placed in the middle of the street, but I was not mad at it. And actually they've done a really, really good job of like replicating the whole feel of the wizarding world. Didn't specifically say Harry Potter anywhere, but like it was pretty obvious. And we sat and we had a butter beer, it was cool. So this is Phuket Old Town. This is famous for being European inspired. It's actually inspired by Lisbon, Portugal. And all of the buildings here are completely different to anywhere in Thailand, mainly because of the color. I mean, you can see how colorful all of this is. And I feel like it's just really, really different in the middle of the city. So definitely recommend Phuket Old Town. I mean, we've literally just got here, but it is also like the Instagram hub of the city. I feel like this is where you see all the pictures on Instagram. Everybody's got those like nice matching dresses on to the house that they're standing in front of. It sort of reminds me of Notting Hill. I was just gonna say that. Get no Notting Hill, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like it though, it's really, really nice. Definitely a bit of a tourist trap, but definitely worth visiting. Also, the Harry Potter bar we were just in was so rogue. Like it was so randomly positioned. I was like, I'm so confused about why this is here, but not mad. <laughs> the 
shopping centre similar to the ones in um, Singapore that take you around on a boat if you want to because it's so big you can get on basically a tiny little boat and somebody will drive it. Anyway, we've just popped to here because Tom wants to look for something for his dad before we leave Thailand tomorrow. He's asked for something really specific. I don't actually really know what it is. That they hopefully sell in one of the shops here. So we're just gonna go and try and find that. But also it's nice just to see it because this is Phuket's biggest shopping center, I'm pretty sure. And so far it looks absolutely bloody massive. Also they've got pizza hut. Tom, look, they've got pizza hut. This is reminding me of the big shopping center in Singapore so much because it is literally just like Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, Gucci. Like, the, this, this is the first place we've been that's been like this, to be honest. I haven't seen any designer so stores really anywhere since we got here. I imagine they do have them in Bangkok, but like, we didn't see them. Look at him in his element. <laughs> Uh. We have just got back from Phuket Old Town. We're actually gonna go out for our final dinner here in Thailand. I cannot believe how quickly these six weeks have gone. Like, obviously when we flew in, we thought we were gonna stay for a month. It ended up being six weeks. We've had the best time. I'm not gonna do a roundup now. I'm probably gonna do it. I don't even know whether I should maybe film a separate like roundup Q&A of Thailand. Maybe I will film that, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm not gonna review it right now. But I am gonna say that because it is our last night, as a treat, because Tom and I absolutely adore the Hard Rock Cafe, we're gonna go. Mainly because it's literally a stone's throw away from the hotel, but also because it feels like a good place to end the trip. But everywhere Tom and I go, if, if there is a Hard Rock, we'll usually pop in, even if it's just to go to the shop, because like we've just made it a bit of a thing, haven't we, between us, where we always go to the Hard yeah, Rock Cafe. I was just thinking, actually, is the one in Bangkok as well? There probably is, yeah, we didn't yeah. see that though. But So Hard Rock Cafe Bingo, but we both really like the food there. They also do really good vegetarian food, and sometimes that is few and far between, although in Phuket, Phuket? Phuket? It's actually been quite good. There's been a lot of veggie options here. It's been easier, probably the easiest here, actually. Um, so yeah, treat to ourselves. And I can't believe this is our last evening meal in Thailand. What are you having? I'm torn between the mac and cheese and the veggie burger, but it depends if they have the veggie burger. <laughs> Wow, that looks really good, no, no, no. Sean. We are back from the Hard Rock Cafe, guys. It was so good. I'm so full now, though. It's our last night here, and do you want to know how we're spending it? I was a little group. We're here with Sophie and Sean at the moment, who we've known now for like six weeks, and this is our last night all together. Although Sean is actually also traveling to the Philippines, but Tom and I are like going to be with him for a little bit longer, but not not too much longer. And obviously, we're leaving Sophie here in Thailand. So, do you want to know how we're spending our final evening? Tom, do you want to tell them? Yeah. We are going to watch Madagascar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you heard that right. You had that right. <laughs> Bought a cheeky new top from Zara purely because it says Beverly on it. When I went into the shopping mall yesterday, this was literally the first thing I saw and I was like, it's fate. And um, if you don't know why it's fate and you've only started watching my channel recently, I'm actually from Beverly, UK. Spelled differently to this, but close enough. Um, anyway. I am going to actually end this vlog here. Honestly, this vlog series feels like such a chapter, like where it started versus where it ended. I feel like so much time has passed, but also it's gone so quickly. Hasn't it honestly been such a while, a couple of weeks? It's been crazy. If you had to sum Thailand up in three words, what would you use? <laughs> oh, how can you even say that? I genuinely can't even think of three words. Right, what would you say? Beautiful, cultural, unique, sweaty, <laughs> um, friendly. Actually, friendly is definitely, definitely one of them. Beautiful, friendly, and cultural. They're my three words. Yeah, I, just on that friendly thing, actually, I think there's like a really common misperception of it. Is that the word? Misconception. Misconception. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that everyone is so friendly, so nice. Like random guy in Bangkok just giving us directions mm -hmm. and telling us where to go. Literally, and... we've not had a bad experience. I really, I, I said this last time I was, I was traveling in Australia and to be honest, it goes for most places, but it is the people that make the experience when you travel anywhere. And that goes for all the people we met on the tour, the people we met in hostels, the people we met diving. Honestly, everybody's just made this trip and been so friendly and there's such a nice backpacking community and I don't know if it's because it's still quite quiet in Thailand or if it's just because obviously we haven't traveled for a while but it feels like everybody is just 
there for the same reason and that is to just enjoy themselves see this beautiful country and yeah it's been so good isn't it it's definitely picked up actually they it just, has they it has yeah since, since the first week to now like the the people i mean i guess it depends where we've been yeah true but i do think it's been a lot busier with tourists. tourism is like yeah. steadily increasing which i think is really good but we are gonna end this vlog here i can't believe it we are actually about to fly to the philippines on our second leg of this backpacking trip. I'm having the best time. I'm having the best time. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Let's go to the Philippines. Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new. To the Sorry? <laughs> Subscribe if you are new so you don't miss the Philippines vlogs. There's gonna be probably a good a good fair few. Then we're going to another country after that. So this is gonna continue. Subscribe so that you don't miss it. And I shall see you in the next one. See you in the Philippines. Bye! I can't believe we've done six weeks in Thailand.